In this video, I want to talk about the constructor pattern. Uh, so pretty much in classical object oriented programming, a constructor is a special method used to initialize a newly created object once memory has been allocated. And in JavaScript, almost everything is an object. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the constructor pattern in JavaScript. And this can be used in any other programming language to uh, even just understanding the concept can really help you guys. So the first uh, three things that I want to show you guys is create objects, how do we create objects in JavaScript. This is vanilla uh, JavaScript, how to set and get properties and actually doing constructor. So I'm going to show you guys three. Uh, the first thing, there's actually three ways to create objects in JavaScript. Well, actually, I've seen other, other, other ways, but these are the most popular ways to actually create objects in vanilla JavaScript. And new object. Objects. So these are three ways that you can actually create objects in vanilla JavaScript. But once we create an object, how can we set and get those properties? So I'm going to actually start with this new object and is obviously empty right now. So we can initialize this with, let's say, name. And hello. So that's how we can start off with. So if I console log this, it would just say hello. But let me start it with empty. And I'm going to show you guys four ways that you can actually set and get this information. So the first way would be new object dot SMP, for example. So hello. So this is my setting it. And my getting it would be So let me console log the new object and then let me console log this some value. There's a value right here. So I had an object which is empty, and here I'm actually making a new property called some key with a string of hello. And I'm just putting value with that hello is. And here I'm gonna actually console log the object and just console log this variable. For some reason having issues with the console. As you guys can see the first line is object which has property some key and the value is hello. So this is a, one of the ways Pretty much the most basic way and that most people use to set and get objects. The second way is uh, really popular as well in JavaScript. So object is empty right now. I'm gonna add something called some key and I'm gonna say that's hello. So that's my set. How do I get this information uh, with the brackets? I do new object, some key. And I'm going to console log the value just to make sure that we're actually receiving that information. You can see a new hello popped up. So that value actually has hello. The next two ways that I'm going to show you guys how to do the set and get is more to have uh, more control of these properties. It's not really popular, but if you really want definite control or even learn uh, how people make other frameworks and how they get so much control over their properties behavior, this is the way to actually do it. So object defined property, I'm actually going to make a new object right here with some key. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
I'm gonna put a value to it. Enumerable is true. Configurable is true. And I'm gonna define a different variable called define prop. Which is going to hold a few parameters. Edible is true. Memorable is true. And configurable. Let's make this as well. And all we have to do right here is the object that define property, which we called above. Value. Well, actually, it's good. So, this is how we're going to show you guys. So, we're going to make a person instance. And then we're going to actually call define property. And we're going to pass the three parameters that we have up here. So person, which is object, car, which is our key, and something, which is our value. And we're going to console our person just to make sure. As you can see, car is something. So right here, car is my key, and something is my value. So that's another way you guys can do it with more power uh, for your properties. Oops. And then the last way to do it would be so properties a new object So I'm going to do a value of new object that something. So I'm going to console log two things: the new object and then the value. So you guys can see what's going on. So the first thing is new object is actually blank because there's actually nothing in there unless you actually call that property. And once you call that property, I said new object it actually goes and looks and it has some key. So then it just puts it in that value. So it only actually you can only see what's inside the object once you call it. And if you don't, it will show up and our value was hello. So that was our fourth. So the first thing that I showed you guys was how to create objects. The second thing was how to set and get properties, which I showed you guys four ways. And the last thing is how to do constructors in vanilla JavaScript. And this is very powerful because this is how all these new frameworks are doing it. Um, so let's make a car with model the year the miles now I'm doing what I'm doing right here is when I call a constructor this model which is this 
is going to actually put it in that specific instance or that specific object's property. So, which means that we can have different objects calling this same car with different things. And but how do we know? How did we differentiate differentiate from one from another? Well, because this, because each each object is going to have its own characteristics. So I'll give an example uh, so it can make much more sense if you guys haven't really done much constructors before. So I'm going to do a civic. So here, if I do new car, it would create a new car object, and it would be blank. But I can do a constructor and actually make it begin with something right off the bat. So I'm going to say, and, uh, 200 miles. And I'm gonna, so I made two objects, two instances right here, civic and range, and I'm gonna console log those two. Well, actually, I'm gonna console log civic that t string. So when new car was made, this Honda went right here, and it, and civic, by writing this dot model, civic holds. Civic's model is Honda. Since we wrote this dot year, that means Civic's year is 2009. If we never wrote this, then Civic would never hold that 2009. The same thing with the miles. So right here, when we call this function, we should get the model has done X amount of miles. Then we do the patterns. Honda has done 200 miles. And if I do this, the range is actually going to call it this same function. But it's going to output something different. And that's because of the this. And this is a really powerful thing. So, right here. So, Honda has done 200 miles because we did it once. And the second time is for the Range Rover. Uh, so there's pros and cons to construct the pattern, uh, but this is just the basics of constructor pattern in JavaScript. Uh, thank you for watching the video.